What's bull prep been like for you? Bull prep's been good. This is the, the longest bull prep I've had. So at times <laughs> it felt slow, but you know we did. We had a lot of practices that you know we're we're good on our bodies, and we're finally starting to get back into the more physical practices, and it's been good to get back into it and you know, start get ready for this game. How's this line kind of kept itself together with so many moving parts during the year? So many guys in and out of the lineup and. Yeah, I mean, I think all credit to Coach Ferentz and Coach Barnett. Uh, we we enjoy being around each other. We enjoy playing for each other. And, you know, I think that always helps when you love the guys you're playing next to and you love playing for the coaches. I think it's always credits to them whenever that, that is happening on an offense or defense. Yeah. Did, this, did this year kind of live up to the expectation of the hopes that you had when you transferred in? Yeah, I'd say more. I, I mean, I, I expected it to be pretty cool, but nothing can prepare you for, you know, just, you know, being part of a team like this for Coach Ferentz. I mean, you hear so much about him and playing for him is a whole different level. It's playing in Kinnick, playing for fans. I mean, it's all been way cooler than I, I mean, I knew it was going to be cool, but it, you know, tops whatever I could have thought before I came. I saw Cade gave a bunch of linemen uh, those controllers for yeah. Christmas. Yeah. Were you on that list? Yeah, yeah I was. You were on the, you were on the good list, huh? Yeah, I was. What was that like? That was cool. That was like the first gift I've ever gotten from a different, like a teammate or a quarterback. So that was pretty cool. I feel a little spoiled. He got us those controllers. He texted us, I guess, a couple weeks before I tricked us and asked what console we played on. And he, because he was going to get one. So we all fell for it. And he got us whatever console we had. It's PlayStation controller. I had PlayStation. So it's cool. And then Deacon got us some things too. And yeah, I feel spoiled. I feel like I need to get them something now. So I'm not like a video game guy, so it's not a big deal to get like a controller. A customized? I mean, yeah, it's, it was custom. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's. It's got your number, number on it, and the like, tiger hawk on it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, oh, and they wow. last what forever, so for, yeah. for a long time. Yeah, oh, that's pretty it's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah it's cool, is especially a, if you play video games yeah, like all of us do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. ask a dumb question. No, uh, okay. what, uh, is this the healthiest you feel like the line's been in a long time? It has to be, right? Because yeah, you got time to heal. Yeah, absolutely. That's a that's a big thing about bull prep is we did we did practice, but we also had a lot of days for our bodies to heal and get better. And I think for the most part, everyone's. Kale Krog has been out the entire season. He's practicing. He practiced today. Sweet. Yeah, I think everyone, for the most part, is pretty healthy. And I mean, you're always going to have bumps and bruises that you're going to have to play through, but, you know, that's just part of it. You kind of accept it and enjoy it. Was it the Northwestern game, or did you get something with your arm, right? Did yeah, you my kinda, shoulder. Yeah, and you had to come back in in that game? Yeah. How was that like? That, everyone's going down in, in the turf over there. Yeah, that, uh, I wasn't feeling the best, but <laughs> I felt good enough to go back in and it was for a drive at the end of the game, yeah. so I mean, I did what I could, and I, I mean, I just tried to do my job as best as I could. I was hurting pretty bad, but it wasn't the game. It wasn't a drive. It was the game-winning drive. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, it was. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. There was, yeah. I mean, I was hurting, but like I said, it, you kind of learn to. I mean, I don't enjoy being hurt, but there's some times where I'm like, feel alive, like feeling like crap, honestly. So. Because I think yeah. we saw you leaving and you were in a sling. Yeah, yeah, I was. <laughs> yeah. Leaving, the, leaving the Wrigley Field. Yeah, it's finally feeling better. You know, got some things that helped it and feeling good now. So. All right. Are you doing yeah. So you kind of played through that the rest of the year. Oh, yeah. 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 Basically. A lot of guys are playing through stuff. Right now. Yeah, that's, that's always a cool thing is, I mean, everyone, like, my family thinks it's so cool that I played through a messed up shoulder and, you know, everyone plays through their own you know, injury or something wrong with them. And it's always cool to see is guys, you know, putting their body on the line for each other. And that's what makes football so special. What's the future like for that, this whole line? What do you, what do you see for this, this group? Cause you, you can't come back again. So, um, but yeah. you're going to certainly watch them. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, we, from what I, I've been here for a year and, you know, from what I've heard the past two years, they just have continuous, continuously gotten better including this year, you know, we're a different O-line from when I first got here to what we are now. Everyone, like, one, ones, twos, and threes, like, everyone has gotten better. And, you know, I think that's going to stay that way, you know, for the next time to come, you know. I mean, guys are just dedicated and excited to play for Iowa, and that's pretty awesome. Anybody jump out, like, that's, you're like, boy, that guy's gotten a lot better. <sighs> yeah, every, I don't know, it's hard because everyone, I could, you know, say something about everyone, but... 
Let's think. Any of the younger guys? Nate Peeper. Yeah. He's a true freshman. He's yeah. going to be really good. He, Bunker said him too. Yeah. He's his fundamentals were all over the place when he got here, and he's you know breaking through some of that. And he's he's really good. I mean, the fifth year guys like myself learned so much from watching an 18 year old true freshman. Like you can learn something from everyone, and it's 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 cool. pretty awesome. Man. What do you mean? What you learn from that? Because I mean, they just go out there and play football. Sometimes I mean, they don't overthink. When you when you do this for so long, you you kind of think about the fundamentals and technique more than you should. And watching a little young kid come in there and sometimes do it better than you, it's like maybe I just need to go out there and play football and not think about anything. Yeah. Maybe he was healthier though. Yeah, yeah he might be. He might be. Yeah, first year. Yeah. Hey, he'll be he'll be where I am, and yeah, I'll understand it. Yeah.